So, hello and welcome to lesson 6 of our study. So, um, in this lesson, we'll be talking about some operators, okay? And we talk about logical operators, arithmetic operators, and relational operators, and assignment operators in Python, okay? So, logical operators in Python, the first thing we are talking about. Logical operators allow a program to make a decision based on multiple conditions. So the logical operators in Python are grouped in this table. So we have the end, the all, and the not. Okay. So the ampersand is the same for end. And this symbol here is the same for all. So now let's look at how we can implement the logical operators in our logic and set theory that we learned. So note that true, like capital T, then R U is for true and false is for false. Okay. Also note that one is for true and zero is for false. So here, when we do true and true, it gives us true. True and false, it gives us false. True or true. Now I told you one is the same as true and zero is um, false, and the upper stand is the same as end. Okay. All right. So that is the logical operators in Python. Right, so an example of them. So very simple. Then we have arithmetic operators. Okay, so Python has some wonderful arithmetic operators, and as a result, it is very efficient for mathematical computations. So some of the arithmetic operators in Python and their symbols. So we have addition, and the symbol is plus. We have subtraction, and the symbol is minus. We have multiplication, and the symbol is star. We have division. You can see the symbol. We have modulus. The symbol is percentage. Right? We have exponent, and the symbol is double star. Then we have floor division, and what have you. Okay. Then we have relational operators. So relational operators are the operators that help us to compare the values on either sides of like equations, right? And make some decisions among them. So we call them comparison operators as well. So the first one we can talk about is the equal to, the equality. So double equal to, that's the symbol for it. The not equal to is the exclamation and equal to. It means not equal to. So you can have greater than, you can have less than, you can have greater than or equal to, you can have less than or equal to. And those are the symbols for them and what they do. Okay. Then we also have assignment operators. So assignment operators, the first one as you know is equal to. So it assigns values from the right side, operands to the left side, operand, right? Then you have plus or equal to. So plus or equal to is the same as seeing that. For instance, when you have C plus or equal to A, it's the same as seeing C equals C plus A. So let's come here. So I have a equals six, right? And let's say I want to add four to the a. So instead of saying a equals four plus a, now a will be ten, right? I can say that let's now want to add another four to it. So a plus or equal to four. So in the same as saying that a is equal to ten plus four, like a is equal to a plus four. And this will give me 14, right? So, those are a different way you can do the assignments. So, I know that is new to you, so you can check that. Then we have minus or equal to, that's what it does. So, times or equal to as well in the rest, okay? So, these are the operators that we will be using in Python. So, we've talked about the Boolean operators, the comparison operators, the arithmetic operators and the assignment operators okay they are very very important we'll be using them when we are writing codes so that is for this video very short isn't it yes